Hello, welcome to KeekEpisodes.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use SSIS packages to extract data from various Excel files into the database tables, of course. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to show you is that we have a folder uh, with a lot of Excel files, and we are going to use the for each loop container to extract data from each of these files dynamically into the database tables. And also, uh, through this video, you'll know how to uh, configure connections dynamically. Uh, for different sources, I'll mainly show for Excel files, then how to use an Excel transformation. So I'll take you across various Excel files which I have created. Uh, these are the sample files which I have created. We have four different books and each of these files contains a simple data which is like this with rec ID and value as two fields. Rec ID starting from one going up to 100 in one book and similarly we have rec ID starting from 101 and going up to 200 in other books and various other different IDs in the uh, book 3 and 4 and we have similarly different values so we'll try to pull each of these data dynamically into the database tables I have already created a SSI solution and a sample package here uh, this is a blank package and you might be already aware of uh, different tasks here different tabs here and uh, to uh, pull data dynamically into the database, first of all, what we require is a data flow transformation. And it's inside the data flow transformation which where we'll have different controls to migrate data from the Excel sheet to the database. So I'll go ahead and uh, drag an Excel source. There are two ways to create connection manager, first of all. One is by right clicking and the other by opening and click on new so I'll use the simplest option I'll browse for the file open I'll select book one click on open first row has columns which is our rec ID and the value click OK and it's a sheet 1 which has the data you see this file we have sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 which are displayed there and sheet 1 is the one uh, is the sheet which actually contains the data so i need to select sheet 1 here and you can either click on preview to check the data just like this and go to columns here you can see there are two columns and you can also define the data types for each of these columns which I'll show you using advanced editor for now we'll go to the error output and you can see what uh, the error the transformation needs to do in case of an error truncation or in case of uh, any other kind of errors and you can give a description here I'll say on error fail the component even on truncation fail the component click OK so there you go the transformation is ready the source transformation is ready and I'll use a simple destination, just something like an oily DB destination. But before that, I would like to check whether I have configured the data types properly. So rec ID should be an int, and the value needs to be vacar. Double precision float, I'll change it to int. I'll give it as 8 byte signed integer. It's just an example, and we have Unicode string here, which is pretty good. And you can see two lines here, two arrows. One is a green, the other one is the red. The uh, red one is to, if you can read this, it is mainly to uh, redirect the error output to a different source, and green is the valid uh, data. Click on new. SIS projects as show you this one a new one localhost and I need to select a database SIS project test collection it's successful okay okay here I need to select a table but I I do not have a table currently so I'll create a new one just by clicking this button or else you can go ahead and create a new table inside the database uh, as ok 
Okay. Map things. Okay, you need to map each of the records, each of the columns. These are the source columns, input columns, and these are the output columns. Or I should say it as destination columns. So it is mapped properly, the record to record, value to value. Click OK. So we have already created a simple package to copy data from Excel file to our uh, database tables. But remember, this is not a dynamic connection. As uh, to make this dynamic, we need to have a for each loop which can iterate through each of the files inside the folder. And uh, we need to make the connection manager here dynamic so that it picks up the files uh, and then moves the data using the Excel source into the destination. So first we'll go ahead and create a for each loop container. I have dragged the for each loop container. Double click on this to configure the loop container. I'll select the enumerator as for each loop, for each file enumerator. Similarly, we have other type of enumerators, which I'll show you in the future videos. And I have to uh, locate the right folder, which is my Excel files. Click OK. So it will loop through each of the files in uh, the folder, but I do not want, for example, if it has uh, a JPEG file, it would try to loop through that as well. So I'll give it as .xls, so, so that it will loop only through the files. Uh, I can specify here whether I just require name and extension of the file or a fully qualified path of the file, which includes g colon slash slash demo excel file slash book one dot xls. So I'll select the fully qualified name and I would I do not want to traverse through subfolders and then each of these values need to be mapped to a variable that is each of the file names needs to be ca captured into a variable so I'll give it as Excel file name need to be a string click OK So now if I run the package, the for each loop will iterate through each of the files inside the folder. I'll drag and drop this inside this. Now I need to make the Excel connection manager uh, to be dynamic. So I'll minimize this. Go to expressions. So we have something known as connection string here. And this is the connection string which points to book one right now. And we have Excel path which points to book one. We need to make this dynamic. I'll go to expression. I'll choose Excel path as one of the property. You can see all these property uh, are listed in here. The properties window. I'll select the Excel file path. I'll give the expression as the variable name here, which is user Excel file name. Evaluate expression. Currently, it doesn't have any names, uh, any values. Uh, in the variable so it will say blank I'll show you how to I'll go here. so that's all the package is done now I'll put a breakpoint 